Hola amigos, welcome to my channels of Algebra 2. My name is Tom Lee, you can call me Tom. My Chinese name is Lei Xing. Email address is chingtom929 at yahoo.com.hk And here is my YouTube channel of so all playlists. In today's series of Algebra tutorial, we will base on the syllabus of the USA High School Standard. The topics include mastering functions, complex number, algebraics with polynomial, polynomials, Radical relationship, rational relationship, exponential grown and decay, exponential and logarithm, trigonometry, advanced equation and function, series, and modeling. As usual, my tutorial will be divided into two language versions. One is in English and the other is in Chinese Cantonese. In today's lesson, we will study the first topics of mastering function. In this topic, it also includes the following subtopics combination of function, composition of function, modeling situation by combining and composite function, shipping function, sketching function, introduction to inverse of function, finding the inverse function, and determine whether a function is inversible or not. In this very first lesson, I will show you the definition of a function and the combination of the function this is the essential knowledge that you need to know for mastering algebra 2. You would like to watch the Chinese version, the Cantonese version 1, you can go to another video tutorials. Are you ready? Let's go. So what is the function? In mathematics, we have to define everything before we study it. So what is the function? The definition of a function is that a corresponding x, y between two sets of number x and y, which paired together and an arbitrary number x of the first set exactly matched to one numbers of y of the second set. And in here, x is called the independent variable, y is called the dependent variable. So what does that mean? Let me look at some examples of function. In here, you can see y equal to x plus 2. That means when the value x is equal to 3, we put x equal to 3 into this function and we got 3 plus 2. When 3 plus 2, this means the y value is equal to 5. So that's why y is called a dependent function. Because y is dependent on the value of x and the x is a, an, any attribute value, we get this function y equal to x plus 2. And other function is y equal to x squared plus x minus 12. That means when the x value is equal to 1, you can put a 1 into 1 squared plus 1 minus 12. It's 1 plus 1 minus 12 is minus 10. When x equal to 1, y is equal to minus 10. So y is dependent on the value of x. We got this is a function. This is the definition of a function. Another example is that y is equal to x minus 1 bracket. In here, we denote the bracket mean multiplication. This means x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. We got the function. If you want to write in an equation, you just type it together. We multiply it together. x multiplied x is x squared. In here, I use the PowerPoint to do the equation for you. So, I mean x squared. This is x squared x squared minus what? x squared plus 2x. We got x multiplied by 2 is 2x. So plus 2x. And then minus 1 multiplied by x is minus x. And then minus 1 multiplied by 2 is minus 2. And we got this function here. x squared plus 2x minus x. And we can also combine 2x minus x. That means x. So the answer will be x squared plus x minus 2. This is how we define a function of x equal to x squared plus x minus 2. We can also denote in this format fx is equal to x squared minus 3. fx is what we call the y. So fx equal to y and y equal to 4x squared minus 3x. This is also an example of a function. In the other example is f of x. We call this f of x. It's a function of x. f of x equal to minus 3x 
minus 4, f of x equal to x. This is a very simple function, but it is also a function, f of x equal to x. When the x value equal to 1, f of x equal to 1 is the same. We can put a graph with a straight line with this function. So we know what is the definition of a function, and we also see some function example. Now we do another operation on the function, the combination of function. What is the combination of function? That means if we have two functions, f of x equal to x squared minus 12, and g of x equal to x plus 2, we can do the addition between these two functions. We do the notice by f plus g of x equal to f of x plus g of x. We add up these two functions. So I will show you with example how we add up these two functions. And all those are subtraction of the function f minus g of x equal to f of x minus g of x. And also the multiplication. We denote the multiplication by a dot. The dot here means multiplies. So we define this function as f dot g. This means f multiplied by g of x equal to f of x multiplied by g of x. We just define f of x and then g of x. This means f of x multiplied by g of x. Division is f stroke g of x. This means f of x divided by g of x. This is the four operation of two function. We call it the combination of these two functions. So we do an example of combination of function. We just do the addition of the function, right? If we have two function f of x equal to x squared minus 12 and g of x equal to x plus 2, and we calculate the f plus g of x equal to f of x plus g of x, and then we substitute the f of x in here, x squared minus 12 is the f of x plus the g of x is x plus 2, x plus 2 here. And then we get x squared minus 12 plus x plus 2. This means x squared plus x minus 10. Because minus 12 plus 2 is minus 10. So we got the answer. The combination of these two functions, the addition of these two functions is fx plus gx equal to x squared plus x minus 10. Now I try to do the subtraction of these two functions in a piece of paper. So I change to a piece of paper and I show you how to do in a piece of paper. Okay, if we, I have two functions f of x equal to x squared minus 12 and g of x equal to x plus 2, we do the subtraction f minus g of x equal to f of x minus g of x. And then we substitute x squared minus 12 into f of x. So we got x squared minus 12 minus g of x, x plus 2. We get x squared minus 12 minus x and minus 2. So we get x squared minus x minus 14. This is how we calculate the subtraction of two functions. Let's say we want to calculate the multiplication of t two functions. f dot g of x equal f of x multiplied by g of x. And then we get x squared minus 12 multiplied by x plus 2. We do the multiplication by x squared multiplied by x, we got x squared, x squared multiplied by 2, we got 2x squared, minus 12 multiplied by x is minus 12x, and minus 12 multiplied by 2 is minus 24. So we got this function, f dot g of x, f of x multiplied by f g of x is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 12x, minus 24. And the last combination of these two functions is f stroke g of x. That means f of x divided by g of x. 
and we got x squared minus 12 divided by x plus 2. This is a function of f stroke g of fx divided by gx. If when the value of x equal to minus 2, then you get minus 2 squared minus 12. And here you got minus 2 plus 2. And you get something divided by 0. Right? Divided by 0 is undefined. So when x value is equal to 2, this function, what we call is singular pawn, is undefined when x equal to minus 2. So you have to be very careful of this term. So we get all the combinations of the function is the multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction. You can also do with some more example. Okay, this exercise is for you. If I change the function to x squared minus x plus 1 and the gx equal x plus 4, you do it for me is the addition of these two functions, subtraction of these two functions, multiplication of these two functions, and finally the division of these two functions. Do the exercise. And I will see you in other lessons. Adios. Hasta luego.